Viewer discretion is advised. Dream Team's alright with me. Dream Team's alright. Oh yeah, I'm right. I coach destroy. This is Warn Dog. Coach of the Warn Dogs. This is Cal. Yeah, we're going to the Cal. And we are coming off, or some of us are coming off, a very big week of Dream Team, just to see how big it was. Uh, let's go around the ground, starting with you, Warn Dog. Well, I had myself a 2117. Very happy with that, and that was with a donut. So I was, you know. Quite happy to yeah. take that out. You'll definitely take way. it, mate. Uh, no donut, donut hugs. <laughs> Twenty-one thirty-two destroy. Yeah, nice work. You tactical round by me. Um, tactical. Nineteen ten. Good call. Did Carlton win a premiership? Well, here's the deal, boys. I'm sitting on top of the ladder, okay? Yeah. And uh, I noticed that... A couple of games clear, too. Yeah, a couple of games clear last year. Geelong and St Kilda rested their players about uh, now. Yes. So I just I rested five or six of my starters this round. Just gave them a rest. Back in this week. Destroy will be back. Nice, nice. All right, just so we stop talking about my team, I want to have a look at our Barlow trades. Ooh. So I'm going to ask you who you got in and then rate that move out of 10 just for the one week. Well, well Destroy, you could have told me you were resting players because I, uh, oh, one of your players that you rested was bloody Goddard and I picked him up this week. Um, oh, so out ouch. of 10... That's a zero, a donut out of ten. He was bloody terrible. Yes. There's no freaking cover for it. Yeah, well, bloody if you weren't so secretive about your trades, I wouldn't have rested <laughs> out this week. Prick. Mate, four words for you. Lee Montagna. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Nine out of ten, destroy. Awesome dude. Nine? Nine. Jeez, you set your bar oh, pretty high. Oh, 160, mate. 160. <laughs> yeah, very cool. 160. Yeah. Um, and what have so, we got next? Hey, look, who, did you go who was your big massive trade in for Barlow? And when you say his name, can you explain his team and what he does? Because I don't reckon anyone's heard of him. Okay, <laughs> I needed to make a bit of money out of this trade to fix another spot. Gabe Simpson. Who? <laughs> well, the fact he never gets tagged, I thought he'd be able to continue his streak of hundreds. Got Cade Simpson, he got tagged for the first time in his six year career. And once again, I looked like an idiot. Leon Davis comes to games but often fails to contribute. He is often a distraction to others who more and more reject him as a group member. Leon can make improvements by actually touching the ball and maybe kicking a f***ing goal for once. Stan is an enthusiastic participant in all of our games but has made little progress this year. In order to improve, Brent needs to practice in basic skill areas such as kicking, marking, and stop getting sidetracked with offers from the Gold Coast, you f***ing idiot! On the occasions Lance has been available to play this year, his performances have been of a premium standard. Unfortunately, Buddy has let himself down with numerous suspensions. Stay out on the f***ing field for once, you Okay, we're lucky enough to be joined by DT Royalty. Yep. It's fan footy's own Monty. Monty! Monty! And welcome back to the show. He was on our second episode ever. Wasn't he? Yep, but don't go back and look at that one. No, that's that's just not good to watch. No, it's not at all. Well, far away, boys. That's oh, well, Monty, you're question. back here. You're back here with our team now. We used to think that you were an absolute guru of the game. Until we met you. Now, Monty. What's happened to your team this year? I tried picking too many uniques and they just didn't work out, you know. <laughs> James Strauss, uh, I actually, all the, they all seem to be Demons players, you know. <laughs> Matthew Bate, so, so, they're just no good. They're just unique, no good. unique for a reason. And then, you no, know, yeah. See, I, and I missed out on the, the DT Talks own no. Luke, Luke Hodge. Oh, exactly! Oh, Monty. You were like tackling Tin and didn't even pick up Luke Hodge. <laughs> what was your thinking behind that? I was not thinking. I was just using <laughs> other parts of my body. I was and not using my brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a good-looking man. Firstly, we're just this is we're getting a bit disrespectful. We used the, we've used the word Monty and Tid Ed in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> but any unique players maybe that actually came out for you actually going all right. Uh, Matthew Stokes, doing all right. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, no, hang on, no. Uh, Shannon, <laughs> Shannon Burns. Shannon Burns. Shannon Burns. Shannon Burns. Same yeah. player, <laughs> just different numbers and names. Nearly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Anyone else? Different criminal records. Is that the only no, one? No, that's the only. One. That's why you're ranked where you are. So you know I mean? Well, I love my captains. If you've got like a, a dude that you're just like, yeah, 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 I'm not even reading captains, captains rubbish, and lock it in, who do you go for? That's quite true, it is rubbish. Um, <laughs> Dane Swan, I go with Dane Swan every week. 
Yeah, so you started with him this year? Yes. You did? Okay, yeah. all right. Now, your website is a massive website and um, probably gets just a couple more hits than what Calvin's Captains does each probably week, yeah. I reckon. Well, which neck and neck. surprising. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, going, that's yeah. going pretty well this year. What sort, of, um, what sort of numbers are you hitting at the moment? Oh, about 20% of the whole Dream Team audience, that's, that's about it. Yeah, well, so that's that. pretty good, that's pretty good. And what does your weekend look like doing, um, doing everything for fan footy? Um, it's basic drudgery. I'm sitting there on a bicycle, you know, getting the service going, and this, you know, and I'm, like, I'm basically like, like one of those uh, those scientific rats in a maze, trying, trying to get getting the, the cheese and and getting, you know, just I'm, I'm just working all the time. Now, you, now you're actually starting to sound like tackling to this. <laughs> How do you go about updating your little icons and stuff? That must be a pretty intense, I reckon, intense job. Um, well, I have, I have, a, I have a, a team. Of crack Chinese gymnasts to, uh, to, to to get that going for me. They 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 uh, you know I think they're they're in Beijing or Shuangzhou or Shenzhen or something like that. I don't know. It's all outsourced. I don't I don't I don't, I don't quite know how it works. Right, no more of these for you, Mon. <laughs> <laughs> no more of these. Hey, thanks for joining us. Right? That's pretty sweet to have you here with us. Thank you very much, Monty. And we'll all be looking at fan footy on our phones and on the new iPhone app, which may be coming. Eventually, but we'll be looking at that and we'll be just checking out our scores every weekend on fanfooty.com.au. Thanks, Monty. Sweet. Oh, hello there. Albert Lord here, PhD DT. Now, this year, I've been spending many an hour in the lab trying to come up with the perfect Dream Team player. I've had to think whether they can play forward, back, mid, but above all, do all the things that make heaps of Dream Team points. Now, here's a sneak peek at my first prototype. As you can see here, feet built perfect for kicking. Three points on the left, three points on the right. Thick through the hips, great for that tackle. Especially when you combine it with those big guns. They're not going anywhere. Four points. The hands are perfect built for marking. That's worth three points, but not for handballing. We know that's just worth two. I've built the prototype with ridiculous good looks. It doesn't get you any points, but it can help with the ladies. Unfortunately, the brain is still a work in progress. Hello? What do you mean somebody's already made Luke Hodge? Oh, damn and blast. Looks like Lordy's back to the drawing board. This week, I didn't even crack 2,000 points. And for one particular reason, Corey Enright, or Corey, OMG, you are wrong! You, my friend, only scored me 42 points. Ah, oh, for top, I was being tagged by Jordan Lewis and he kept pushing me around. What were you expecting? Him to be a gentleman and maybe pushing your stool for you? You, my friend, are an absolute disgrace. You get the chop. Righto, good job. Thanks for that and thanks for watching, people at home. Thanks for watching. Now, we've got one little special thing to show you and these are our brand spanking new DT Talk Chopper Stubby Holders and these are on sale, well, hopefully now. Um, Chopper should be getting that organised because he's going to sell them out of his... They're so out of his... nice. How nice do they feel on your hands? They're, They're just beautiful. I forgot to put one you know, on. Your hands will be bloody cold. They yeah. can be warm. And someone said to me the other day, no joke, they said the beer tastes better when it's bloody... I know. You can only have a Bogues draft in that and it'll taste bloody beautiful. Yeah. All right, looking forward to uh, round 16, boys. And uh, we've got the Hawks down here playing against Brisbane. We do. You're hoping to welcome back the well, big fella. Two of them. I'm yeah. hoping oh. to welcome back Brown Dog and Mitchell. I want the dog back too. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, but Calvin, you've got some worries for people, don't you? Yeah, look, people are going to start bitching about people who are late withdrawals. Goddard, perfect example. It started. Yeah. It has started. The run towards finals is only going to get worse. Guys like him... Lenny, Montag, those guys are going to get rested. If you've and got a big name in your team, mate, get ready for it. And don't get annoyed. Just expect it. If you've got any less than six trays now, six or less trays, I would hold every single one of those yeah. at the moment. Don't worry about trying to upgrade. Hold yeah. them and try to make your Right at home. Please, for right at home. These people are battling to make the eight, though. Oh. Trade! trade. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be trading then, Calvin, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Thank so you, Mark. Right. This one. <laughs>